Okay, so the first step is to um, add a server and I'm just going to name mine Among Us. And once you've created it, you have to go to the Discord developer portal here. And what you need to do is you won't see these two uh, apps. So you need to create a new application and name it Among Us. I'm going to go Among Us 2 and you create it. Uh, once you've created it, what you need to do is go to the bot section here and you have to add the bot. Once you've added the bot, uh, you can just leave it alone and go back to the OAuth 2 and you click on bot here and administrator here. You copy the link and paste it onto the new, onto a new tab and you select the server. I'm going to select the Among Us server that we just created and you authorize the bot. You do the capture and then there you go. Next, what you need to do is download a Chrome driver. What you need to do is download the latest stable release. For you guys, it's going to be Win32. And I'm going to download the Mac64. And in the meantime, I'm going to tell you why I'm on the Mac actually, because of course you can't um, you can't play Among Us on the Mac. I've actually tested it on Windows, my Windows laptop, uh, and it does work, but I just want to record it on the Mac because I don't want to record on my really bad laptop. So anyways, once you have the Chrome driver, you have to drag it into the Among Us bot um, folder. This is the folder that is, is the actual program which you need to download in the description. Uh, what you need to do is uh, you put the Chrome driver in there, but as I've already got it in there, I'm just not gonna bother. And um, the next bit is pretty important. What you need to do is the config.py, you need to right click on it, and for Windows, of course, you have to open it with your text editor uh, here. And this is the important bit. So, what you need to do is um, you just leave the Chrome driver path. You can leave that out for now. And what you need to do is go to your developer Discord developer portal, click on the bot section, and what you need to do is copy this token over here, and you just paste it over here like so. And then what you need to do is um, go to the general tab here. The, and then you have to copy the link to your channel right there okay and um, another crucial step for it to work is there's quite a lot of dependencies here um, which you're gonna have to uh, run to see if you have them all if you don't have them all there's uh, in the description there's uh, some commands to download them so what I'm going to do is just run them now. Okay, so once you run it, um, it should just load all the drivers. And if you have no errors, that means you can move on to the actual start in the program. Okay, so first what you need to do is you need to actually run the um, start discord uh, program. And once you run that, your bot should come online. And uh, once you've done that, it should say, it says, please run start.py. So you get another, um, you get another CMD for you guys. And what you need to do is go to your folder. And then what you need to do is just start it up. So you just start it. I think it's pi slash three. And then you do start the pipe for uh, Windows. And it might take a while for it to start up, but once it does, you can literally play Among Us for hours on end without you know, breaking the immersion of uh, muting and stuff like that. So first, what you actually need to do is you need to log into your um, log into your Discord. You only need to do this once, so once you've logged into your Discord, you should immediately start up the um, program. So now, this is where um, 
you can pretty much start playing Among Us. There you go. Once it says ready, you can play now. Then you can just load up Among Us and just play. And uh, I'll just show you now with a couple examples. <laughs> I didn't have any screenshots, so I just took some from uh, XQC's stream, which is kind of, it's kind of cringe, but whatever. Um, okay, so basically, um, okay, so now it's working. So now if I, let's say, your crewmate, instantly, uh, just for a split second, I'll put it on the crewmate and now it's, it says you got a crewmate and it's muted. So when you got when you get crewmate, there's actually a little time from when it says crewmate to when um, I mute it. So there's a there's a time difference there which I added. And let's say you're in a discussion, it says discussion, and it unmutes straight away. So that one's straight away. And once it says voting results, oh that was a mistake. Voting results. There's a timer. There's like a five minute timer and like a seven seconds. To where the new run starts and just in a moment it should mute and um let's say you won victory it says victory and you it unmutes straight away so i actually didn't show you it but if i just join this general chat um and oh my gosh okay hello so let me just show you it uh, muting. So muting would be crewmate. Or oh, let, let's do imposter this time. So you've got imposter. It says you got imposter muting now. And in a couple seconds, there you got mute. And see in my um, general tab, the server's muted and everyone in the whole voice channels, in all of the voice channels, is muted. So let me just try another example here. If I try. So you got imposter now and it's time to discuss. Boom. It just needs a couple seconds and you're already unmuted here. And this is all automatic and you can just run this for 12 hours anytime. You can do this and you won't break the immersion and it's pretty good. I've actually tried it myself and played some online games. Um, yeah, so that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching.